name is Joanne Ramos, and I recently got my PhD in biology from the University of Rochester. So my normal everyday life is working in the lab and doing experiments. Because of quarantine, I haven't been able to go into the lab as often. And therefore, I wanted to bring my lab home. And I thought one of the first experiments we could do is extract DNA from strawberries. So first, while I think most people have heard of DNA, if you haven't, DNA makes up all of us. I like to think of it as the book of us. It's the genetic material that makes you, you, and me, me. It's the reason I have brown eyes and someone else might have another color. So you're probably like, okay, DNA, I get it. But why extract it from strawberries? So therefore, they're the perfect model to extract DNA from. So, to do this quick at-home experiment, what you need is... So to do this, I'm going to take a plastic bag and I'm going to put three strawberries into the plastic bag. And the next thing I need to do is lice these strawberries. So I want the cells to lice. So I'm gonna make a lysis buffer. So in this jar, I already have one third cup of hot water. I'm going to add to this water one tablespoon of dish soap. Now, dish soap and all soaps, what they do is they disrupt cell membranes. It's the reason why we have to wash our hands to get rid of germs. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Now, when DNA is in cells, it's not just floating around, it's actually interacting with other things in the cell. These other things could include proteins. So what salt does is it, it gets rid of all the proteins that are sticking to our DNA, because what we want is clean DNA after this. So, this is my lysis buffer. I'm gonna mix it nicely. And now what I'm going to do is pour my lysis buffer into my bag of strawberries. And what we're gonna do is crush these strawberries. So I would try to get all the air out of the bag and then I would seal the bag we don't want any of the lysis buffer and strawberry goo to drip out. And now what we're gonna do is press them gently and using this mechanical force, we're going to disrupt the strawberry cells. Crushing, I want to tell you guys that yes, we're using strawberries, but I would invite you guys to try to perform this experiment using other fruits and vegetables. Perhaps you might get more DNA from them. And I think what you should do, if you test that out, please let me know. Okay, I think this is crushed enough for me to be happy. So I'm gonna pull it up and you can see, well, yes, there's still some chunks. It is very well mashed. So the next step is we want to strain out these chunks. These chunks are parts of the strawberry cell 
They contain organelles and proteins. And these are things we don't want because what we want is the DNA. So what I'm going to do is use a coffee filter. Now I'm going to stuff it in this jar. And since I don't have a friend helping me out, I need some way that this isn't going to fall as I like pour this heavy liquid into it. So I'm going to use a hair tie. But if you're doing this with a friend, they can probably hold the filter for you. So all of this cannot fit in here. So I'm going to do it in two different parts. So I'm going to pour half of this in very gently, not making a mess. I also want to be very clear during this part, do not consume any of this. Now think about it, we're lysing cells. You don't want to consume this. So when I look at my jar, I can see it is starting to drip. Maybe you guys can see that too. But I'm kind of impatient, so I'm not going to wait for all this to go through. I'm going to go ahead and take the filter, just very gently squeeze it so that I can force some of this liquid to come out quicker. Now it's totally okay if it comes through the top of the filter. The most important thing is we don't want that ch those chunks. So as long as you are just getting the liquid, it's all good. I've also had this explode on me before, so definitely be very careful. Now, if you don't have coffee filters around the house, you can also use a strainer of some sort. Another thing you could use is cheesecloth. That works really well. So I'm gonna keep squeezing this out and I'll show you guys when I'm done. I'll have half of my mixture left. I'm going to use a second coffee filter so that I can strain the rest of it. Again, I'm using my hair tie to seal this down. that's enough. I think I've got plenty of DNA mixture. So the next step, well first let me show you guys. So it's this nice like pink haziness, but you can see that there's really no chunks left in it. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the hand sanitizer I was talking about. So First, this needs to be cold. So I've taken this out of the refrigerator. And second, this is the type of hand sanitizer that I found has worked. So I did try a gel hand sanitizer and it didn't work as well. So I would use either rubbing alcohol or this liquid hand sanitizer. And the goal is you're going to use about equal volumes and you're gonna pour it in And you're going to already see that this is separating into two layers. How cool is that? But what you're going to do is take like a wooden skewer. This is what I like to do. And you're going to slowly twirl. Do you see that gooey stuff sticking to the skewer? Well, that's the DNA. What I like to do is stick my skewer in and slowly circle. You have to be very gentle with DNA because it can rip very easily. And so here I have it. I've extracted DNA from strawberries. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's session. I would love any feedback. And if you try this out, please let me know how it goes. And especially if you try other fruits or vegetables. Thank you.